What's good YouTube? This is Whiteboy503 coming at you with another PSP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be the third part in the uh, emulator series and I'm going to be doing the uh, SNES. Go put a link in the description to this file right here, SNES 9X. Right click on this file, extract to when you do, you have this file right here. Let me pull it up real quick. And I'll have all that stuff in it. And then connect your PSP via the USB cable. And go into your PSP menu. Go into the game folder. Go into the emulators. And then take this folder right here. And drag and drop it all into there. Just wait for it to copy. It's only like 8 megabytes, not that big. So once it's in there, you want to click on it, and I provided the ROMs folder in there, that way you guys don't have to create one or whatever. So you open that up, and then we'll go to your internet browser, and we'll go back here to CoolROM.com, like always. So you go over to the ROMs, but on this uh, Super Nintendo. And I'm going to be using uh, Super Mario All-Stars. It's actually a really good game. I like it. It has majority of the uh, old school Mario games in it, actually. It's actually really good. So I'll wait for you the link to pull up. Download your file. Click on that. Your window should pop up. Not that big of a file. So minimize that and go into your downloads folder you should see something like that Just drag and drop that drag and drop it to your desktop right click on that extract to Mario all stars you get a folder just like this. So you open that up. And it'll say Super Mario All Stars dot SMC. Make sure it says SMC. If it doesn't say SMC, it is not for the this emulator. It'll be for a different emulator and it won't work. Like all the other ones. They're freaking typical about that kind of crap. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. But yeah, so you just drag and drop that into the folder. Shouldn't take all that long. Then go to your PSP, exit out of USB mode, go over to game, go down, should have something pops up just like that. Actually, has sound, which is pretty cool, because this one doesn't. It's kind of boring. But they did more with this one, which is pretty cool. So you click X on that. Wait for the game boot to uh, boot up. And then you should have a menu that looks just like this. Go down to the ROMs folder. And like the other one, it says circle for run. Don't know why. So you press circle. Go down. Press circle. And it should load up. Bam. Super Mario All-Stars. And I'll show you guys. It has a regular Super Mario. Super Mario Lost Levels. Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3. So, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. That way I can get more, we can get more subscribers. That way I can be able to be posting more videos and all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, I actually, my, for my next video, I probably will be doing, um, I'll take a break from the uh, emulators for like maybe a week or something. And I'll do a couple, uh, 
SE plugins because some people have been asking me about that. Uh, which I think I'm going to be doing Remote Joy and then I'll be doing uh, a really good uh, homebrew app actually, uh, which is called Xperia, which basically lets you. Uh, browse your full browse your memory stick without having to plug it into your computer if you want to delete a game or whatever like delete a um if you just want to delete things or move things or whatever uh you can do it straight from there without having like if you're on the go or whatever so uh yeah that's what i'll be doing next so like i said don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to my channel i will provide links to the previous videos which was the um the regular NES, which was Nestor J, and the um, the Game Boy Color uh, emulator, and I will also provide a link to the CoolRom.com if this is the first time you're watching the video. So, uh, all right, YouTube, peace.